guys. Welcome to my kitchen again. Um, I have to count inventory on my cat's food because I, <laughs> I'm one of those people where I'm super organized. I try to be super organized um, with how much how much food I have, like inventory for the cats, um, because I tend to buy more than I need and I don't have the money, the extra money <laughs> right now to be buying extra cat food. So I wanna make sure I don't buy what I don't need because if I could use that money for something else, I will. Um, so <laughs> this is their little wet foods. So these are the Sheba wet foods that they love, that they're obsessed with. So if you guys have ever heard me talk about it, um, it comes in like little portions like this. So I give one to each cat and I give them two a day. So one in the morning and then one when I get home from work and these babies love them, like they, they love them. <laughs> so I have them um, kind of separated, like I have some chicken ones over here. Um, what did my husband do? I completely messed it up. Uh, <laughs> um, so I have it, usually I have it organized pretty neat, but I guess, you know. So let's see, let's see how many I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And I use two, it's so about 10, maybe 10 days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I have about 10 days worth. Starla, 10 days worth of foods. So that means I can go buy some this weekend. So I will go do that. And then this is like the little booklet where I keep track of all of my, all my bills because we have a lot of bills. So I gotta make sure I get them all paid on time. Because, yeah. Look at, yes, mommy has all these foods for you. All right. So I guess I could throw that away. Yay! I guess if it's like, um, 10 days isn't bad, you know, that's like a week. A full week of food that you guys are gonna have for your food. Isn't she, she's getting big, huh guys? You're getting big, Starla. And then the other thing I need to do, and then I keep these containers, you guys are probably gonna be like, she's a fucking cat lady. <laughs> I am, I'm a cat lady. I've always been a cat lady, but yeah. So I buy them blue buffalo cat food, right? But I've been, I think Luna figured it out, but they've been eating it, so that's a good thing. But I've been buying blue buffalo, the, um, the indoor hairball control, because after that whole vet experience with Luna, um, so what happened with Luna was um, the vet thought she had something worse than what it was, I should have just listened to my intuition and saved myself like a lot of money, but <laughs> now I know better. Um, so Luna has really, really long fur and after a while she, you know, like all cats with long fur, she has to cough up hairballs. She doesn't cough up hairballs often, but when she does, she's very dramatic about it and I think that that's what happened that day was it freaked me out because she, she was super dramatic. She was making these weird like heaving noises squeaky noises and she she squeaks when she sneezes but i guess she does the same thing when she's like throwing up and um so every once in a while she gets a bad hairball i've been really good now with brushing her i try to brush her twice a week but i was slacking off before so i think that's what happened so anyways um every once in a while i'll give luna like some um pumpkin to help her with her poops <laughs> her digestive tract um, because it's supposed to help you help or help you poop, um, but also it's supposed to like moisturize 
the whole intestinal area, I guess, um, so that they could throw up like the hairballs easy. And that's what happened with her. I think it got stuck. So it was kind of like, you know, you just, it felt like you had something um, stuck there. And so I bought hairball control cat food that I'm slowly, I'm mixing it in with their regular stuff so that she, one, they don't like go into shock with like something foreign in their food. And two, um, so that they can learn to like the taste. It smells somewhat similar to the other stuff, but yeah. And then I think because I give them variety with the wet foods, I think that she sees, she, she hears wet food and she thinks she's gonna get one. <laughs> um, so I give them variety with their wet foods and I think that that kind of adds to the, it, it helps with them. Um, and the wet foods are supposed to be good for them because it has fluid. So it's like, if your cat doesn't drink a lot of water, they usually say they recommend adding water to their food or um, giving them wet foods, it's good for them. So um, I've never had a problem with the Shebas and they like them. They like the cuts though, they don't like pate. So like this one, this is a pate. And I, um, I saw that I, that I gave it, I gave it to the cats because I saw, oh shit, I bought the wrong one. And wouldn't you know, they're little picky little fuckers, they didn't eat it. So I have like a stray pate. Hopefully I can like sneak it in their food so it's not wasteful, but I don't know. So anyways, I keep, we have these little, these like plastic containers that we had originally got as wedding gifts for, um, I guess you could put like cereal or whatever in it, <laughs> but we use it for, for cat food. So I'm just gonna refill mine. So what I usually do is like I'll try to put a portion <laughs> a portion of the the new stuff yes huh there's a lot of food my stars and then the other stuff mix it together so this bag is pretty much gone I gotta have, I have to buy another bag and the big bags last like when I buy the big bag of cat food it's yeah it's pricey but I find that it lasts um, it lasts a long time because I also give them the wet foods so the dry food is there for them to munch on like during the afternoon We're not going through it as fast. Oh, there's still some in there. dry food so I don't I don't think that they don't like this her wet food. I, let me go give this to her, you guys. Come on, stars. Come on. Come on. Go get your food. Yeah, go get it. So, and then I have two of these since I buy like the big bag. Have, uh, another one right here so I'm gonna use this one next since this is the fresh one I just put in and that's how I manage the food so <laughs> that's yeah go get your food baby girl I poured it over there it's in your bowl she sees the the oven I'm hard boiling some eggs for lunch I told myself 
that I was going to make sandwiches for lunch this week when I go to work so that I'm not tempted to go take out or what I'm tempted is when I go to Starbucks because I always get like my iced tea at Starbucks um, but then I get tempted to order like one of their little sandwiches because the sandwiches at Starbucks are really good but they're fucking expensive so it's like <laughs> I need to just make my own sandwiches at home um, so that's what I'm doing I'm hard boiling some eggs to make an egg salad sandwich and um, and that'll be my lunch to save some money because mama has a bill now from all the torrid stuff she bought and daddy can't know about it just kidding <laughs> so anyways um so how are you guys doing um thank you guys for all of your sweet comments on my video yesterday i think it was cute too to have coffee with you guys let me put this down on the table um so that i could chit chat with you guys You'd be good, okay, stars? Um, thank you guys for all of your sweet, whoa. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> I just tore the leg off of the tripod. Uh-uh, you don't do that. She loves wires, oh my God. Did your cats ever go through that phase, you guys? Like wanting to chew on wires? Like she wants to chew on the, the phone charger. Stop it stop okay so um all of your guys' comments were really sweet thank you thank you um about enjoying the whole breakfast talk chit chat and like having coffee and conversation a lot of you guys <laughs> a lot of you guys are saying you would love to have um coffee with me and have a conversation so thank you <laughs> um that was really sweet Oh, I gotta say, you guys, these videos do help. So thank you, Imogen. I don't even, I don't think you watch my videos, but thank you for the amazing idea because these videos have given me life. Like, I feel like I have a new purpose each day aside from just like posting the daily reading on Instagram and you know what I mean? Like getting up and feeding the cats and... I'm like, oh, I get to film a video. And that's like, that's like my time to just have a conversation with you guys or my time to vent and stuff. So I have the um, Other Worlds Tarot with me and I figured um, I'll pull some cards. Let's pull some cards. Which reminds me, I gotta do my, um, my midweek reading on my Instagram, but let's, let me pull some cards real fast for myself. <laughs> Give myself a little reading here. I have small hands, so these, <laughs> these cards are sometimes hard to shuffle. Okay, so let me ask, whoa, whoa, whoa I got one, some that fell out. Um, let me ask for guidance for the rest of this week. Oh, okay, that one. All right, what did I get? I got the Hierophant, the Eight of Cups, and the Six of Swords, I love it. So the guidance for this week, um, Hierophant, I'm looking at, like looking at this as, Hierophant can be kind of like your teacher, your mentor, um, somebody in, in a higher setting, somebody who is leading by example, somebody who's um, has, they're laying down the rules, the guidelines, right? But I kind of see the hier Hierophant as my father energy or like father energy or even God energy. <laughs> Um, the eight of cups is walking away from something that is no longer emotionally fulfilling you. Um, but it could also be escapism too. So sometimes you got to look at it in the right way, like for yourself. Um, but I'm seeing the eight of cups matched with the six of cups as, um, it's almost like God is saying to separate myself from the community at the moment, um, in order to escape and go off into, um, an area of peace and solitude, um, an area of quiet time with my husband. And I, I literally feel like that's what the cards are saying because he's coming home this weekend. And I was telling one of my friends in a text this morning that <clears throat> I get, so I work um, part-time 
and I work every other Saturday. So I work two Saturdays a month, every other Saturday. And because of the way my husband's whole weekend ordeal has been um, with his academy, he sometimes comes home on the weekends and then sometimes he can't because they have classes or they have whatever going on. And so last Saturday he came home last weekend, but it, it was a Saturday I worked. And then the Saturday before that, I had a four day weekend, but he had to stay up there so I couldn't see him. And then the Saturday before that, I was working and he came home. So it was just like, um, or no wait, no, he didn't come home. Maybe he, did he? I don't remember. It, this, <laughs> there's so many of these times that he hasn't come home. I wanna say he didn't. I think I went through a two week stretch last time. So it's been well over a month since I've had him come home on a weekend I don't work. <laughs> so I was telling my friend that this is the first time in a while that I get to be home. I don't have to go to work. I don't have to have any interruptions. Um, since literally early August or early July um, that I get to have him home with me. So <laughs> I, I even told him too, I was like, no offense, you, but you saw your family last weekend. So it's just me, right? <laughs> like it's just you and me this weekend, right? And he was like, yes, it's just you and me this weekend. So I'm taking the eight of cups and the six of cups. It's almost like God is saying, cause I'm seeing God as a hierophant. I'm saying God is saying like, you need to close out the community. Community meaning my social media or like I don't need to have a strong social media presence during the Friday night through the Friday night through Sunday morning because my husband leaves Sunday afternoon. So it's really Saturday is the day. <laughs> so um, I'm thinking of taking this to heart. I think that this is going to be probably a really good thing for me to just not even worry about posting on my social media because I still, even though like I may take time away, I still feel like I have to post my dailies, you know? I don't like to miss a daily post. And then if I post a daily, the way I, I do my whole Instagram is like I do a daily post and then like two photos so that the next day I do a daily so it looks nice on the, the so it looks nice on the layout, right? But sometimes I don't always want to post, you know, so I feel like if I skip out on Saturday, maybe I should because the cards are kind of guiding me to that. And then the Five of Swords is coming up under the Shadow card. And the Five of Swords, it's interesting because Five of Swords can be kind of like a problematic. It could be conflict. This could be arguing and stuff. And I'm going to be real, like, I'm going to be real with you guys, like, I mean, I was telling my husband this too, and I think I was telling another friend, um, because one of my friends moved in with, um, with her man not too long ago, like a few months, maybe a couple months ago. And so this is like, they're going through that, you know, that fresh time of like, we just barely are getting, we, we've been together for years, but we've never lived together kind of thing. And I know that, <laughs> I know that. And I was telling my husband that now that he had, I've been going through these like, long stretches of not seeing him and when I say I see him on the weekend it's really only Saturday because he comes home at midnight Friday night and he leaves Sunday afternoon so it's really one full day that I get him so when you think about it it's like throughout this whole seven month time frame I've really been seeing him once a week um, and that's been hard it's been really hard and sometimes not even once a week sometimes it's like there's like two or three weeks that I was going without him <laughs> So I told my husband, when you come home now, it's like, I have to adapt to you being home again. And I love it. But then it's like, I've, I've created my own routine without him. Um, and so the old routine when he was home, he jumps right into it because he, that's what he remembers. But I have my own routine now. So I'm learning that I have to start to re-adapt or re-adapt to him being home again. So I was like, sometimes it feels like the, that whole, we're, we're like freshly living and living together all over again. And he was like, yeah, it kind of feels like that. So I will be real and I'll say that five of swords, <laughs> 
the five of swords is kind of like a little bit of a fear card or just like the little shadow card um it does kind of reflect that my husband and i do get into little tiny little arguments when he is home what, like there's times where i'm like why are we arguing about stupid shit when you're home it's like i should be grateful that you're home but we get into little arguments because like i said i created my own routine um, and I've become much more independent without him home. So it's like, even though he's home, I'm like, okay, well, I got to go water the grass because it's that time. Or I'm like, oh, I'll, don't worry. I'll take the trash out later. But it's like, no, you go take out the trash. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, I've been playing my role as a wife. And then I've also been playing his role too. Like I pay the bills. I've been taking the trash out. I've been getting the mail. I've been watering the grass. I've been, you know, like all of those things. And now that he's home, there's like, oh, Oh, you want to wash the dishes? Oh, pff, okay, good. Or, you know, so it's it's like I have to I have to rearrange myself, my new routine to fit to allow him to come back in. So <laughs> So that's been really interesting. Um, but yeah, that five of swords is so legit. It's like, we do have little arguments here and there. And then we get over it. Obviously, we're not fighting the whole time that he's here. But we do get into little arguments. And he's even said, like, you're, you're different. And I go, well, I had to be different. Like, I had to change. I had to evolve without you here. Because I couldn't just be, like, sad. And even though I was still sad. But, <laughs> but I couldn't just be, like, completely helpless. Like, shit has to get done. So... Yeah, it's it's kind of funny, but <laughs> I just thought I would bring that up. So anyways, you guys, um, I don't really have anything else to talk about. Um, I guess that was just kind of like my little video diary thing for today. I'm going to go and start filming for the weekly mid-reading, mid-week readings, and I'm going to be posting that on um my Instagram. So if you are interested in checking that out according to your sun, moon, rising sign, go ahead and head over to my Instagram. The The whole information is in the description box, but follow me. It's the cackling moon and um, follow me over there. And until then, I will see you guys tomorrow for another video diary episode.